In this video, I'm giving you five underrated center midfielders in football. I'm going to tell you who they are and why I believe that they don't get as much recognition as they deserve. That's coming up next. What's up guys, it's Dave here from Simply Soccer where we are helping you to improve your game and stand out on the pitch. And in this series, every single week, we are covering underrated players in different positions that I recommend you take a closer look at so you can learn from them and just become more familiar with them. In this one, we're going over center midfielders, some of the guys I think could use a little more recognition and are really good players and are guys you can really learn from, so let's get right into it. First guy on this list is someone from my team, Liverpool, and in the last just couple years, he has been one of the best performers in our team, and it's James Milner. Despite being in his 30s, James Milner looks like one of the most fit and physically capable players on the park. He will rush people, he will harry them, he will tackle them hard as we saw he did to Neymar and other players um, during the PSG match. This guy can really do a little bit of everything and he fits into Klopp's system perfectly. Not only that, he also is very efficient recording 11 assists last season, 8 of those coming in the Champions League. And this really is a player that's been an amazingly good player for his whole career, yet never really got the recognition that he probably deserves. He's definitely a player I recommend you take a closer look at, watch him when he plays live. He does a lot of things that go unnoticed, but I'll also link a video down below with his highlights from last season so you can get a better idea of why the Liverpool fans and myself really love this guy. Second guy on this list is Benega of Sevilla, another guy who really goes under the radar when it comes to world-class midfield players, but has been a consistent performer down the years for Sevilla and really a player who's been chased down by teams like Arsenal and for good reason. A very tidy and also very creative midfield player, he recorded five goals and six assists last season for Sevilla. It may be because he doesn't play for one of the big boys and plays for Sevilla, although Sevilla is a big team and a really good team, because he doesn't play for a Real Madrid or a Bayern Munich, a Barcelona, a Man City or a team like this, he doesn't get the recognition that he deserves. However, make no mistake about it, Benega is an incredible player. Player. Again, I will put his highlight video down below so you can take a closer look at his highlights from last season. But another incredible, creative, playmaker type player out of Argentina and definitely someone to take a closer look at. Number three is Thiago and this guy really has gone under the radar since leaving Barcelona as a promising talent. And although he still gets minutes for Spain and for Bayern Munich and puts in really good performances, he's not highlighted that much when you think of center midfield players. Thiago recorded seven goals and four assists for the German Giants last year and he's just really one of those incredibly unpredictable magical players that can do something that really takes your breath away at a moment's notice. He also is really good at controlling the midfield in typical Spanish fashion much like a Xavi or Iniesta who he would have played with at Barcelona. Thiago is really coming up to the prime of his career and is definitely someone to keep your eye on to see if he really takes that next step to world-class player. He's had the potential for so long and we've seen him express that potential in spurts and now we're just waiting for him to consistently put a string of performances together year after year to show the world that he actually is one of the best. Number four is Aaron Ramsey of Arsenal and this guy is a player I really have felt has been underrated for many many years and maybe the reason he is is because he's played for a very underwhelming Arsenal side in recent years but when players, when teams like Real Madrid and Barcelona have been coveting his signature, you know that he's doing something right. Last year, he recorded 11 goals and 12 assists for the Gunners, which is an exceptional return, especially for a team that wasn't really challenging on too many fronts. And he's really been doing that consistently for a while now. He's a player who's incredibly creative, tidy in the midfield, and is always a goal threat. Some may say that he is a little bit inconsistent, and that might be the thing that's holding him back from really being seen as that truly world-class pro player. Um, but I think he's not that far away from being at that point. And again, when you're having returns from midfield of 11 goals and 12 assists and, and rates of this nature, if you can continue doing that year in and year out at the top level, you can't help but have an argument for that player being a world-class talent. Last guy on this list isn't necessarily always underrated, but again, another player that I really think should be in the argument for one of the best in the world, and it's Christian Eriksen. Now, Christian Eriksen's stock has definitely risen in the last few years as he's really shown what he can do, not only for Denmark, but for Tottenham Hotspur. But again, he's one of those players that because he doesn't play for a Real Madrid, a Barcelona, a Man City, a Bayern Munich, a Juventus, or a team like this, that he maybe doesn't get that recognition that 
he truly deserves. Eriksson had an incredible season last year, recording 14 goals and 13 assists, which is really unheard of for a center midfield player, and there are very few in the world that can produce those kind of results. And again, Eriksson is just one of those players that has the magic moment in him, whether it's being able to strike the ball from 30 yards out into the upper corner, scoring that free kick, or putting the ball on a plate for one of his teammates to put the ball into the net. He's honestly one of my favorite Premier League midfield players, and he is also very consistent. Many of the players I've put on this list, their Achilles heel is they sometimes go in and out of consistency. But Christian Eriksen has been performing at the top of his game for a while now and really has been putting in those consistent performances to put him up there with some of the best. Perhaps he needs to leave Tottenham to be recognized as one of the best or Tottenham need to get closer to winning titles or actually win one. But if you actually watch him play on a consistent basis, you'll realize his class and how truly amazing this guy is. All right, guys, so those are my five underrated center midfielders. Of course, there are so many other ones I could have recommended or put on this list, but I could only include five. Let me know which ones you think I missed out of and should be on this list. We, of course, are going to cover each position more than once, so maybe your recommendation will be on the next one. Like I said, guys, highlights of all of these players will be linked in the description so you can take a closer look at them and why I considered them or actually put them on this list in the end. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Remember, we're doing this series every single week, I believe on Monday, so make sure you come back for next week's episode and check out the rest of the videos we'll be releasing this week. Thanks one again, uh, once again for tuning in. Please like this video and share it and leave me your suggestions down below and I will see you in the next video.